Hello and welcome back. I am Big Squirrel, this is Chained Echoes, and we are going to New Wernshire. I need to remember I don't have to use the airship for everything. I love using the airship though. We have it, I want to use it. When we arrived in Wernshire a year ago, there was nothing here but a few collapsed buildings. We saw people confronted with despair, with chaos. But we also saw the shimmer of hope in your eyes. You, proud people of Wernshire, never gave up. You stood tall in front of chaos. And with the help of the one god, you built this city anew. We built this city anew. We must be grateful to God for granting us such an opportunity. Without the church, we would still be living in filth. But does that mean we have to believe in this one god? And this Zacchaeus is also suspicious to me. Yeah, supposedly he travels around with a harem of young men. Who is the man in the armor? Isn't that the Inquisitor? Father Zacchaeus, we must leave soon. Certainly, we can't let such an important clue go unanswered. The grave of Reyna awaits. What is it with the church and their obsession with this tomb? I, I don't know. But we do know who Reyna is. So where are we supposed to be going? Somewhere up there where the star is. We can, speaking of needing to remember I can teleport, we can just teleport up there? I'm not exactly sure how to, to not that, mm. Can I teleport from here? No. All right, let's pretend that didn't happen. And uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter what kind of controller I use. There is definitely a difference between an X button and the back or select button. Now, I took my other hand off the control so I would not do that again. Let's get over there. Oh, we'll put the dog first. Hey, so good pupper. All right. So who are we? Where are we going? We're supposed to go in here. It's you, Killian. So you escaped the Aurora. Hello, Glenn. I've heard you were in Warrenshire. Never expected you to lead a clan, though. And I've never expected to see you in the church's armor. Nice look, isn't it? Who did you have to cheat to get it? Glenn, what I did back then, I did because I really thought it was the most peaceful way. Offer Lynn as a sacrifice so you could earn a few coins? Think of me as an opportunist for all I care. I'm willing to pay any price. If I have to sacrifice a friend to save a hundred strangers from death, I will do so proudly. But rest assured, this rank of a commander was bought with information. What kind of information? Back in Kindreld, I found the diary of a monk who lived there at the same time as Nackelbur. Most of what they wrote was useless, but I was able to find a description of Nackelbur. A very charismatic young man with silver hair and two colored eyes. Does that ring a bell? No, not really. Terran's counselor, Gwaine, an R who can live for hundreds of years, joined the court the same time the Grimoire arrived there. Y you think that he is Nalkabir? Well, they share the same appearance and are connected to the Grand Grimoire. Nalkabir vanished 50 years ago when Gwaine joined Terran's court. And this is what you've told the church? Not only. Two months ago, I returned to Kildreld to find more information. In whatever book you open, the church was always searching for the grave of Reyna. I know, they still are. True, but according to the books, they actually found it, although they kept the location hidden. Th they found it? That makes no sense. Why are they still searching then? Something must have happened that kept this information from ever leaving the monastery. Wait, was Nalkalbeer living there when they discovered it? Not bad, Glenn. That's exactly it. I bought this rank of a commander with the information that Sir Gwaine of Terran knows where the grave of Lady Reyna is. I see. That explains it. Commander, the bishop calls for you. Tell him I'll be with him in a moment. Yes, sir. So what are you going to do now, Sir Killian? Will you be wearing that disguise for the rest of your life? For now, I'll play escort to Bishop Zacchaeus. As long as he can be of use to you, right? 
Nothing more than a stone on the side of your path. Glynn, I want to plow up this land and create from its roots a country free of hatred and discord. You all alone want to change the world? You surely know the metaphor that a king is like a puppeteer and his people are like marionettes. He keeps the straps tight and thus controls his subjects. However, times have changed. Nowadays, the king does not hold the straps with an iron fist. He gives the people free space so that they don't notice that they are hanging by the strings. But as soon as a puppet moves even a little bit too far, he tightens the strings and pulls the puppet back into position. So, how are you going to free the people? Are you going to run from marionette to marionette and cut their strings? To find myself out of breath and my sword dull? No, I'm going to climb up my strings and chop off the puppeteer's hand. Then you're going to fall deep. It's a price I'll pay most gladly. K Killian, you may have cut off the tyrant's hand, but each resident is still hanging tied to a string. It won't be long until another puppeteer arrives and takes hold of the handle. Then we must make sure there's enough blood on it so that no one ever dares to. There you are, Killian. I have been waiting for you for ages. Our carriage is ready. We must go to torment. Forgive me, Your Excellency. What are you doing in such a crumbling place anyway? You're just getting all dusty here. Come on, let's go before you catch something. Very well. You've heard him. I've got to go. Killian, what they're saying about this man. You and him. Did you? I told you, it's a price I'll pay most gladly. Our meeting was short. Till we meet again, Glenn. Stay alive. What price am I willing to pay? How far am I ready to go? Okay. I guess we can't... No, we can't follow out of here. Alright. Well then. I guess we've got... Uh, any news from Lady Bran? Alright, that should be here, right? Yeah. I see that there are some chests to gather, but I don't think we have... I don't want to do stuff just because it's going to fill up reward board stuff, but I don't think New Warnshire is even on the list of places. Oh, it is. Okay. Um, But yeah, we fulfilled the treasure chest requirement for here anyway. I would like to... Wait, did that... I hit the button again. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> oh, this is what happens when you grow up with a Super Nintendo. Uh, that was... There we go. Plan level 3. I thought I saw another one for New Warnshire. I might be able to do, but no. Okay. We just... We just... Do easy things? My brain? Just <laughs> let me do this, please. Are those... Platypi just running around? What are you doing? Okay, uh, mm, enough of that. I definitely have questions, but let's just move on with the story. If you chased every platypus you saw, you'd never get anything done. Isn't this... Sir Sandar? What's going on? You're back, and not a second too late. My lady, did I see it right? You executed Theron's ambassador? He had a choice between the dungeon and the gallows, but instead he chose to swing the sword. Now he swings from the rope. What happened? Please, my lady, even I have been kept in the dark. It is time to act. Word has reached me from Terran. Nabrelia is marching against Valandis. So the time has come. You were going to wait for Cameron's message, but the plan has changed. We can't let an opportunity like this pass us by. We will stab Terran in the back by stealing the Grand Grimoire. Wait, my lady. We're playing right into Nabrelia's hands with this. My lady, don't tell me you have... Are you colluding with Nabrelia? Is it true? Is this how you gain your confidence, Lady Bran? Indeed. Nabrelia has asked for our help, which we will gladly offer. 
Terran's rule over Volandis must find an end. And Nebrelia's a beginning? With all due respect, my lady, you are selling Volandis to foreigners. I am buying back our sovereignty. That's what I've agreed with King Dreklar. This is madness. Watch your tongue, General Tormen! They won't treat us any better. I'd rather be ruled by someone with Volandian blood running through their veins. And whose sword is stained by such? Have you forgotten Terran's crimes? You give precedence to the murderers of our families? What is your opinion? What did you negotiate with Nebrelia? We'll help Nebrelia and gain our independence. In exchange, they can build a military base on Volandis. We will follow your plan, my lady. The Grand Grimoire is our enemy, not the Brelia. Wh whoever is in possession of the Grand Grimoire is an enemy of humanity. I knew I could count on you. Then let's make the preparations now. Speak to Tormen when you're ready. Not quite. I never circled back for this. Uh, sacred water works for me. I can't talk to you from down here. I thought I'd be able to. Are your preparations done? Once we start the mission, there's no going back for a while. Oh. Don't take too long. Yeah, uh, mm, I don't like the sound of that. We're just gonna throw a save down, because... <laughs> uh, yeah. Good, let's get started then. Yeah, if, if something goes wrong and I need to redo something, I want to be able to do it easily. <laughs> there's a chill in the air. I hope we succeed. Torment's walls won't yield easily. I know that only too well, having been trapped behind them for so long. Everything built by men can also be destroyed by them. Remember, we can go in as quickly as possible, grab the stone, and escape. Theron will be busy with Nebrelia and won't expect an attack from behind. Meanwhile, Lady Brands and my men will provide additional distraction. Hopefully more competent than when we rescued you, Amalia. This time, we probably don't have any spies in our ranks. How far will I go, Killian? P please listen up. I... I... I think... No, I know that tonight we're going to win against King Frederick. Glenn. The war on Volandis has lasted for 150 years and at some point had become routine for its people. They were born into it, and they died with it. They never knew anything else. But with the one-year treaty period, everyone had been able to taste peace for the first time. For a moment, a spark of hope ignited. Our weapons are forged by the spark of hope. We will wield this in the name of Volandis and its people. We will steal the Grand Grimoire and topple King Frederick from his throne. Well said, Sir Glynn. Truly like a leader. I agree. <laughs> I knew you had a heart of gold. Look out that I don't steal it from you. Shh, shh, shh. The diversion begins. We're descending. Good luck, everyone. The generals have completely channeled their power. We only need to wait until Nebrelia's army reaches the coast. The generals should be able to stop the ships before they can switch into flight mode. Let's see how far we can get without the Grimoire against one of Eldria's most powerful armies. I beg your highness's pardon. The Eastern Guard sent word we are being attacked from the Fjordwoods. From the east? It is a small force of a few airships and sky armors. Sky armors? Too well equipped for ordinary resistors. It could be Lady Brand's work. So they are working with Nebrelia, hmm? I will take care of it myself, your highness. How could Lady Brand do this? My generals accused me of harshness, but apparently my handling was still far too gentle. But am I capable of proceeding with even more harshness? My hands are trembling, my heart beats more silently with each passing day. No, I must not abandon my plan. It is the only way for true peace in Volandis. The main palace lies to the west. We shouldn't switch to fly mode while their ASACs are functional. Unless we choose to deactivate them one by one. We are up for the task, that is. A chance to encourage my fellow comrades. Even with your skill level, this should be doable. Well, that didn't sound too bad. 
Sh 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 let's give it our best. I <laughs> like that. You're mostly incompetent, but I bet you can still do it. Please spare me, I will sell you stuff if you want. Of course, I can't give it to you for free, even if you threaten me. I'm a merchant, after all. Uh, do we have some loot stuff? We should have a bit, but I don't... Oh, wow, this is a long list, even if we don't have a lot of any one thing, mostly. How long has it been since I've sold stuff? Uh, yeah, and that didn't get us any new deals. It did finish a couple, though. Oh, come on, in between episodes, I just switched a lot of people around on their equipment. Um, all right, I can, I can do some more. I want to make sure I pick up this Tome of Fiends. Sky Armors can drop some skill ram, I, I like that. And, wow, we filled out a lot of these. Mystic Ring? It's just a Mystic Ring, got it. Grove of Midas? Some rats, some ancient coins, I imagine that's not going to be too hard to find. Sun and Moon, we could look these up, but I'm, I'm not going to do that right now. Do we have an anvil around? By any chance. Not around here, at least. All right, I won't worry too much, except uh, we did get a ring. Mystic ring. There we are. TP mind and defense. Okay, that is not bad for somebody that's going to be defensive stuff. What are you using this? Immune to silence. You are a good option for it. HP mind defense is probably better you... Actually, let's give this to Glenn. One of the things that I did was I switched him over to a more... I switched him over to heavy armor so that he would have more defensive stuff because he has a lot of break abilities that I want to be able to use. And he can apply oil to set Lynn up and anyone else with fire attacks. So I, I mostly want to keep him alive and um, do, do this. <laughs> I want to make sure I'm in my proper armors. I didn't think about that. Oh, I can't... Come on, let me hit the switch while I'm in the armor. Good. I want to... There we go. There are six of these... Okay. Hopefully we run into them all. So... We have a lot of abilities now. Um, enact elemental cannon. I think I'm going to go for the ones that are elemental cannon. Because... I have a feeling that they are going to be the ones that... Let me think first. What are they weak to? Wind, of course, as everything. Um, yeah. I feel like these are going to be more damage-oriented than the one with the shield. And that is something I want to exploit. Or, no, something I, I don't want them to do. There we go. I was trying so hard to remember how to pick moves and stuff. Uh, I haven't played this in quite a bit of time. Uh, I was working on a bunch of other stuff and whatnot, so... Getting into this is... Uh, I don't think you need to do that. Let's just do damage. Um, yeah, getting back into remembering what all of the buttons are is a little difficult. We don't really need much by way of healing. Um, that's not bad. Just a regular old magic attack. That's cool. Yeah, let's give that a try. That wasn't that much, but that's that's not his general job anyway. Ooh, nice. Four hit. Now we need heals. But I don't think we're so desperate for heals that we need to use Bothra's. Yeah. Um... We're switching back to gear zero, though. I don't want to get overheated. I I know Victor was about to come up, but... I want to stay out of overheat as much as possible. This is going to be overkill, most likely. But I'm still going to do it. I don't have a feel for how much health these things probably have. Uh, doo -doo. I haven't paid any attention to how much wind shot was doing. That's a lot. Good. Sienna, you need the TPs, so we do the thing that gets you the TPs. See, that time when I said do the thing, it actually had a purpose. Thing was followed up by what I meant. <laughs> I'm gonna get better at that. Do we have a map? Yes. 
So, why are there little doorways? Interesting. So there will probably be a way to get down there. I know we can take out... Oh, this is probably the way down there, right? Ooh. Halberd? Come on, you can't give me no gear now. All right, let's, let's go inside and see what's up. We can't sneak through. Oh, we can sneak through. Sweet. Ovelia? Is that a new type of sky armor? It looked like it. Um. Oh, you, it's just a straight upgrade to what you have. Awesome, even more attack than what you already had. Sweet. <laughs> I just, I wish we could run across an anvil while we're out here doing stuff. Uh, we are just in a courtyard, so there's not a lot to, mm, I say that. Then I see all these tracks on the ground, and there's plenty of space for us to get back in our sky armors. Exchange parts, not bad. That works for me. I definitely want to be able to fly around as much as possible and do as many of the things as I can. Let's see, where else can we go? I'm going to go down and left from here. Otherwise known as southwest, but we don't do that. We use only the most... Basic of directions. Okay. I keep checking the map because I... I want to see if it looks like there's going to be a spot that enemies could be. Alright. Glenn, switch you over and just enact Salvo straight away. And then we jump on that one. Oh, there's a chest behind them. I was thinking I'll just fight them on the way out. There's not much reason, but there's totally a reason now that I see that chest back there. Okay. Yeah, we'll just knock that one out. Not worry about it. You, we leave in first gear so that you can raise up that overdrive bar. Good, good bunch of hits. Okay. Just realized we lost Bothros on that one. Um, I'm gonna not worry about it. Actually, now that I think about it, I probably should have just gone for the kill there. Um, I will throw out a repair all. I don't want to use up my revival items. I don't have a bunch of those. No, let's be safe. Um, I don't have a lot of revival items, so I don't want to use them up now. I I figure we may run into a, a boss fight again where we need to have our armors and reviving is not easy with these things. I don't know... Is this... Yeah, we do have a revive, actually. Mm, now that I see that... <laughs> I'm thinking, okay, now I, I will bring back Bothraz, even though there's only one enemy, and it would have been faster to just punch it a lot. Like, directly in the face. Whatever. We'll do it this way. Uh, oh, that's right. I forgot Sienna, is, I believe, has that thing that lets her switch two gears at once, so I could take her straight from second gear to first gear if I wanted. Let's do a blind salvo, just in case this thing gets another attack. Uh, you were dead for a long time, so you've got a lot of TP left. Kind of want to go for the heal. How are you doing on health? Never mind, don't do the heal. Don't waste the time. We smash. Brutal Battler? I don't know what that is, and I was looking <laughs> I was looking down at my achievement instead of actually seeing what uh, I got out of that chest. I think it was exchange parts. So nothing too important for me to have read. So I'm going up northeast from here. Did I check this side? No, I did not. Another gemstone jerkin, that's awesome. I think I could put Tomka in that. Not entirely sure. I can't remember what all he can use. Yep. Absolutely want as many of those as I can get. Okay. 
There's no chests in here, I know that. I can see that in the bottom left. I don't know why I'm looking around so much. Hello, people. Am I in the right setup? Yeah, good enough. What are y'all weak to? Darkness and Earth stuff, so I do not have the right people in for that. Definitely not flashlight. This one... Let's raise our crit chance. Even though I'm gonna do some swapping around, let's start with that. Okay. Press blocked! Yes! I like you, Cress. You are amazing. Start with the mages. Uh, Speaking of Tomka, this might be a good one for him. Also, now that I'm looking at it, high physical damage to all enemies. Okay. Pendulum. I kind of just want to see what it looks like, but I also want to do the other stuff. Let's see. I know, I, I, I go back and forth on whether I want to hit one or a lot, but I want to get Tomka in there to hit things, <laughs> and he can right now. Let's see, I don't really need a heal all anything. Let's go for the agility buff. I may just make that a thing that she keeps forever because it is so useful. Swap you around. Do I have, I do have toxic shot in here as well. Let's start with poison shot though, and we'll spread that around. Don't use heal, that's rude. That's better. Uh, freak wave? Why not, I guess? Also, I kind of just want to see his abilities. Like, uh, please don't hold that against me. I, I, I like them. They are large and ridiculous abilities. What do I want to do? Just piercing shot or switch to Bothraz? I think I want to have Bothraz out here and use some summons. Speaking of new stuff that I want to use more of just to look at. Uh, pan I can't do Pandemic because I killed the thing that had poison on it. Oh, I really should have had him kill the mage. Oops. I didn't realize that all four of the enemies were going to go at once. That wasn't so bad. Never mind, we're good. Such solid damage. Yeah, I'm gonna switch it back. <laughs> we don't really need healing or anything, but... I'm gonna go single target, and I think Victor will be a little bit better at that right now. Uh, let's throw out a Toxic Shot. We have a few turns. Let's Toxic Shot this dude. I don't think I've really used Toxic before. Um... Two of those dudes are gonna slowly die to poisons and things, so not worrying about that. That should take out the one on top. Yep. And then just win. Easy peasy. Skill level up. That's good. All right, how many is that now? Wrong button, but it's okay. Four of the six, that's not bad. There's only a couple left, and then we can shortcut all over the place. Not that we need to that much. Where else do I want to go? I'm going to explore up here. We are an exploration squad. They have gotten that one. Wait, that must be a place that you can only get to once you've knocked out all the stuff. Hello, I remember you guys. I can't remember where they're from. Baki, okay. The giants that were in some way tamed, which seems awful. Are they also weak to wind? A, you're actually weak to something different. I am unreasonably excited that they are not weak to wind. I think they're the first enemies like this that we faced. You know, the first Sky Armor enemies that weren't weak to wind. Um, let's see, I don't really care about most of this stuff. Don't super need to heal up. I'm not gonna heal up. We're going to get this this one knocked out. Okay. Next chance that I get to heal up, I will. But not with Bothros. Uh, Water shot. Ow! 
that hit so many people. That like injured me as a person. Um. Okay, so new plan. We don't hang around in overload stuff. I don't think I need to panic. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to start like reviving everybody and everything. I think what I'm going to... Oh, come on. Okay, I'm going to revive somebody. I'm going to revive Victor because he can revive and heal. Okay, good. He'll get a chance to go. So that that is good enough for me. Let's do an inact salvo just to save us a little bit. And then we can repair all. That should keep us alive through this dude's next turn if he makes it that far. Back into gear. Hornet dance. Only hit for one. That is not what I wanted to see. Counter stance. Okay, that's not so bad. We can repair again. Uh, do you have stuff? I think you do. You're gonna counter stuff, so let's do something that's not a physical thing. Nope. I think our only option there is to not hit. You're still in counter stance. Let's let's defend. Let's do the easy thing. Um Okay, you're no longer in counter stance. And you're low health. But you only hit once again. Come on, that can hit up to five times. Sadness. Sadness and pain. Alright. Updated quest? Yes. One more to go. Where is it? About all I can do is, is head west out of here. And that'll, uh, it'll have to be over there. You guys again? Alright, that's not so bad. We're gonna start with an inact salvo. Because I want to slow them down. And you can water shot in gear two. Also gear two, I'm a little scared to have everybody in gear two that I'm putting in there, but... I think so long as I don't do the silly thing and attack them when they're in counter stance, I should be fine. Should be. Not will be. We have some high hopes going on here. Heart of the Baki. Yes. Why does that sound... Wasn't there an anime called Baki? I'm pretty sure on that one. I don't remember much of anything about it, but I remember it. Uh, I need a single target massive heal, but this is the best I can do with you, so that's what we do. All right. Um, they said no. Going to get all these people switched over. Uh, you can stay and do the big heal. That's all right. I... <laughs> she, she, indeed. Let's go for, for winning. I think we'll be able to. Not Hornet Dance, Leg Sweep. Oh, it didn't? I thought that would knock that one out. Really? All right. Water resistance, nice. Wait, do these count as... Do these count as um, Sky Armor enemies? Because that would not make sense, but I think that's the only way it makes sense that that one just dropped a skill ram. Uh, look, but uh, yeah, Inax Salvo again. I think it's going to die anyway. Nope. Come on. <laughs> We're so close. All right, where is this last one? It has to be nearby. So, the others were just distractions, as I thought. 
Your friends were playing their instruments a bit too loud, like a child begging for attention. This is Gwen, advisor to my brother. Don't be fooled by his unassuming appearance. It's been a long time, Gwen. You know him? How about you just let a former college friend through, for old time's sake? There's nothing I'd like more. Actually, I wish you'd snatch the grimoire from the king's grasp. It would probably be better off in your hands, but I have a duty to perform. I think your meaning eludes me. Let's not waste time. You're in a hurry, understandably. Strike him, Glenn! Is this really what you want, Glenn? Is this really what you want, Glenn? Huh? What the hell are you doing? Is there something wrong? Are you hearing... a voice in your head? What? You? What does this mean? Enough chit-chat. I have to pretend to stop you, so show me some effort so I can at least break a sweat. You're going against Sky Armors? Let me worry about my neck. You should worry about yours. I keep feeling like this guy's gonna be a villain, but what is his deal? <laughs> we'll start with Inna- Oh, come on, don't give me two targets here. I don't even want to hit June. She seems nice. She hasn't done anything wrong. She just hangs out with this dude. Uh, Charge is more damage next turn. Resistance to status ailments is not bad. Oh, spread some of target's ailments to all enemies. Okay, does that going to do damage? Yeah. Sweet. Did not realize. Um, I need to put way more stuff on them. Let's do a defense break. You don't happen to have... No. You don't have anything that will do... Status effects to them. Let's... Poison? Silence? I think silence would be really good against them. If it'll stick... Absolutely. June is chilling. I don't want to attack June. Finger snap. Ew. Okay, that looks like it's supposed to get us to one. Uh, I'm going to assume that was supposed to get us to one. I'm going to leave June alone from here on. Quick repair. Just to, to get more stuff. I think that was five hits. June doesn't seem to take you serious. I like you, June. You are cool. Dwayne repairs an ultimate attack. Uh, I think that means hit him really hard. Which Bothroz is not great at. Defense break is already going. I have a feeling this ultimate attack is not going to be what it sounds like. June raises her speed levels. June is having fun. I thought so. I thought she was going to raise it just to do nothing. Was only teasing you. <laughs> I like June a lot. I want her on my team. Gwen, you can maybe come too. Run around until an ultimate attack. I just, I feel like it's not going to be anything. I just want to get everybody out of gear 2 and defending, just in case. June is getting bored. I'm scared what happens when June gets bored. Uh, Victor, sorry dude, you are stuck where you are. Uses Supernova for one damage. Yeah, Gwen was just fooling around. I thought so! Um... Hornet dance. I'm guessing we just need to get to a certain point. June's bored. You know what? I get you. I I feel that. I'm enjoying the little things that pop up. I think those are really funny, but at the same time... It's not a serious battle? Yeah. So, yeah. Enough. You fight with the strength of a hundred men. You're skilled in close and long-range combat, and you can even cast magic. How can a simple advisor such as me stand up to that? What do you think, June? 
Indeed, uh, we should surrender. May the wheel of fate be with you. Come quickly. Wait, I have questions. What are you talking about? Move it! Don't worry, Glenn. You know how to contact me now, right? Damn it. Alright, one more. It's gotta be here. Gotta be here somewhere. Come on, <laughs> where are you? Um. Oh, was this the next place I'm supposed to go? I didn't want to do that. Victor, my friend, I knew it was you causing the commotion. Cameron. Who's that? Our contact. I'm sorry, old friend, that we couldn't wait for your word. It doesn't matter. This opportunity is better than any I could have created. The generals are busy channeling their magic and can't interrupt us. Where's the stone? The stone is... Uh, Cameron. Tormund? Curses. Didn't hit it right. D have you gone mad? Why are you doing this? Lady Brand doesn't know what she's doing. Selling Volandis to foreigners? No citizen of Volandis will be able to live with that. Lady Bran is originally from Galtea. She doesn't understand how people on this continent think. You will regret this, Thorman. Ah, damn you. Damn you all! Cameron. Just a flesh wound. <laughs> Get out of my way! I'm going to save his life! The stone is... In the main tower with King Frederick. Save your strength. The wounds, they are too deep. He's going to die. I didn't make this pact for nothing. No one dies here. I know. I know how... How... To destroy the Grimoire. Cameron. You figured it out? Listen to me carefully. The Grimoire has ether stored within, which it... Abruptly releases when its shell... Its shell is shattered. It regenerates itself by absorbing the ether of the dead. Cameron. Do you understand? The more lives that are wiped out by the blast, the more ether the Grand Grimoire can gather. The stronger it becomes. In reverse. Ah, damn, if only I had... The drink. What? Don't worry, he's still alive. There's no wound I can't heal. Farron, take him out of here. As you command. A drink. That's what you're going to get, Cameron, once we're done here. What did he mean by in reverse? The fewer lives the grimoire destroys, the weaker it becomes. So if it doesn't kill anybody, then it can't regenerate. It will become useless. Am I understanding this correctly? You can also make the stone stronger by letting it kill as many people as possible? Wait, the reason Frederick placed the stone in Warnshire back then, it couldn't be. He wanted to make the stone stronger by sacrificing as many people as possible, be it friend or foe. Lynn, this can't be real. He wouldn't do it. Would he? Let's keep moving. To the main tower. Okay. Um. <laughs> I, I'm gonna go up here after that big powerful moment. That's, that's a great time to end the, the episode. So I'm gonna start the next episode here. I, I don't wanna drag out a few minutes that takes away from all that stuff. So, yeah, next episode I'm gonna get this last little little turret thing. We'll explore some in, in fly mode and whatnot. And we'll get on with the story. Man, there's... This game keeps dropping stuff. This big, big lore, important story things, and it is... It is awesome. There's so much to process, and it's done so well. Anyway, that does it for this episode. So, thank you very much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, the liking, subscribing, Patreon link in the description if you want to do those things. And I will see you in my next video. Later.